Hi, I'm Tony Pearson from the HBP Group. What I wanted to do today was just to give you a brief overview of Windows 11. So Windows 11, the next version uh, of Windows following on from Windows 10. Um, major significant changes are only around the user interface. Um, from the back end perspective, yes, it does need a bit more RAM, a bit more CPU, a bit more of a powerful machine. But overall, it's the same functionality. They've just reskinned it uh, and made it look a bit more modern, as we'll show you here today. Um, we have done some testing regards to sort of common applications, and to date, we haven't found anything significant from a perspective that won't work. Um, but it is one thing to bear in mind when upgrading that the applications that you've got are they compatible with 11. So the first thing you'll see is obviously that the taskbar at the bottom is uh, slightly visibly different and the icons are centered rather than to the left. You can change that if you want to go back to them being on the left. But when I press the, the Windows key, um, you'll notice that the, the Windows start bar looks different. We've got these pinned apps up here and then we have a recommended section here. If you wanted to add new things to the, the, the pin start bar, we can simply right click here, uh, pin to start, and then you'll notice if we go into here, click the down arrow, we've now got the music pinned um, there uh, from that perspective. It's as simple as unpinning, again, as it was in the previous version, but the main difference is that it looks different. You will also notice on here uh, in Explorer, the icons have all been revamped and changed, although they're in the same format, OneDrive, drives, etc., all look in the same place. But the, the significant difference is, is, again, user interface and the way it looks and feels. A new little cool feature, if we hover above the, uh, the maximize, minimize bar here, we can then sort of stack the windows up. So if I wanted this to be split significantly over to the left, I can add that. If then I wanted to open edge, um, I can hover above the icon again, and I can press this and I can stack it along to the right. So it allows me that flexibility to have my windows tiled in the way I want them maximize that you'll notice that the um, the to do bar down the right hand side uh, that's significantly changed so we can obviously um, adapt our notifications and we have our uh, calendar there but that's a, another uh, another change from that perspective and then what we've got now is widgets so we can um, press this button down here and we've got widgets um, so we can pin common things like calendars um, weather traffic and things like that that we want in there. We can add news and we can add new widgets. So if I wanted to add my to-do bar, I can simply do that, uh, minimize that. And now my to-do box has come on my widget there. And again, I can leave that up and running or I can just click and minimize that to get it out of the way. So as you see, the, the common theme here is all around the UI changes, really. They have got rid of Internet Explorer now. Um, so everything's done through Edge um, here. Um, there's also Teams built in, um, so Teams was a separate application previously. They've now built Teams into Windows 11, um, and you can basically connect in and use it from there rather than having to install an external application. So that is really a whistle-stop tour of what Windows 11 looks like. Um, no significant backend changes. It's even based on the same Windows 10 coding. It's all around the user interface, icon freshen up and, and look and feel really. So I hope you found that useful. We will be doing further videos, but the purpose of today was just to give you a very brief overview of what's coming in Windows 11.